Yo, 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 what is up, Halo community? So today we're going to be taking a look at some early Halo 5 menu concepts. And man, do these look spectacular. So I'm going to go ahead and just showcase all of them to you guys here. Um, of course, I do want to give a shout out to the artist who actually made these as he uploaded them to uh, ArtStation and allowed us to see these beautiful concepts. So uh, shout out to Jeff Christie, I, I believe. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check these out. Alrighty, so now that you guys had a look at all these cool freaking concept menu things, I mean, these are just, they they look very, like, visually, they look super freaking pleasing. Um, now, I will say they are, some of them at least, are a little too complex, which I can see why they decided not to go with this. Because um, it was a little too complex, but I feel like they still should have kind of gone down this route, just kind of simplify it more. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to give my thoughts on it now. So let's start off with the first one, which is the main menu. Uh, which se it seems to be like the main menu um, and you get to like customize your emblem and stuff he goes through like a bunch of sub menus so this menu does remind me a lot of Halo 4's it's very uh, re reminiscent of that because in Halo 4 it pretty much kind of functioned that way and honestly I do wish we actually got this in Halo 5 because if we look at Halo 5's menu right now I don't know man I mean it's pretty lame all you do is see the infinity and you go to like campaign or something and then you just get like a freaking uh you know a solid picture and that's it and it's kind of it's pretty boring in my opinion anyways all right so moving on to the next one which seems to be some kind of uh war zone menu i think anyways um because it shows a bunch of weapons and holy smokes man i mean this looks freaking fantastic i mean just look at that I can see it being a little too complex but i mean i don't know man i mean this just looks freaking awesome but uh, I can see why they decided not to uh, go with this one. But uh, yeah, in this one, we basically just get a view of all the weapons and, you know, their upgrades, the skin. It also has some kind of weird socket feature. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if that made it into the game. Um, but yeah, it just shows you like all the Warzone uh, variants and stuff and all the guns and stuff. It looks freaking awesome. So now we're moving on to the images and we're going to start out with this one which seems to be a campaign uh, lobby kind of thing because as you can see it says you can go to Eridanus 2 and then we got Singhelios and then we got Builder whatever the heck that means um, but I think this was like the campaign hub right because you know these are all locations you visit in Halo 5 I believe um, and yeah I think this was like kind of like the campaign selection menu or something like that. Seriously, I would have, like, rather had this kind of stuff instead of just, like, the boring, uh, you know, image in the background with just some buttons you press and stuff like that. Okay, on to the next image here. We got what seems to be a pre-lobby menu thing. Um, as you can see, we actually got the two teams, which is Red and Blue, Majestic and Castle. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what... I, I mean, I'm guessing this is pre-lobby, right? But I'm not sure how this would have worked. Because by the looks of this, a lot of these images actually seem to be like as if there was going to be some kind of social hub where you can like walk around and, you know, go to different sections. And that's kind of what it seems like because you can actually see his assault rifle lowered um, in the right lower corner. 
and it seems like maybe they were planning to yeah make like a social kind of hub where you could kind of choose where to go and you know stuff will pop up like this at least that's what i think i don't know but um i mean man dude this looks freaking awesome it looks a lot more better than just having freaking emblems in the multiplayer pregame lobby because that's all we got we literally just had emblems we didn't even have names or anything the only thing you could see of other people was their emblems that was literally it it was so dull and just like such a downgrade from previous halo games so honestly i would have loved to see this make it into the final game or at least something similar to this okay so here's the next image and this one also seems to be part of like a pre-game lobby kind of thing except this one actually shows the mode and the map it seems like which is blood gulch so i'm actually curious if they were ever gonna bring in blood gulch to uh, halo 5 because i don't think we ever got like an official release of it i think we got like a forged version of it but we never got like a you know developer made blood gulch um but yeah this seems to be another pre-lobby kind of thing you can see the mode and once again like i said you can see his assault rifle lowered down and it just makes it seem like it really was some kind of um you know social hub that they were gonna make so on to the next image, we got Forge, which seems to be a Forge lobby kind of thing. And yeah, I mean, it just says that his last Forge session was uh, Plex Canyon. And I mean, there's not much to say about this one. It just pretty much shows what map he's uh, on. It says edit and play and also map select. So once again, I mean, you guys are going to hear me say this like 100,000 times, but you know his assault rifles lowered in the corner does that mean this was also part of the social hub you would go to this area and this would be the forge area or like the forge console thing command thingy i don't know and from there you kind of just like pick what map and stuff it, it's really interesting so on to this next image we got more forge stuff and this one seems to be uh when you're editing it now this one i'm not exactly sure what this could be was this like a pre-edit thing like where you um you know before choosing the map or playing on the map to to build on you like choose some settings and then it loads in or was this like during gameplay you could just like pause the game and this would pop up i'm not exactly sure but uh yeah the fact is that this is a menu concept for uh how you would edit the uh the map and stuff like the weather as you can see the terrain the lighting really interesting stuff okay so now we're on to the next image and this one might be part of campaign i think uh this one i think is supposed to be a map i'm not exactly sure but it seems like as you can see it says customize personal extra and action um i'm not too sure i mean this might be a multiplayer thing i'm gonna be honest i can't really tell what this is supposed to be um it's definitely supposed to be like a pause menu i think when you pause or something on to the last image i believe which is another visor uh concept menu concept thing and yeah this one kind of and yeah this one's basically the same thing as the last one except uh you know a little bit more simplified i believe at least i i see it that way um and yeah it's the same thing you know you got fast travel so this was definitely a pause menu i could tell that for sure um because you can actually see uh you know the dmr counter or the DMR in the right top corner and the grenades on the left top corner so you could definitely tell it was like a pause menu um, but I'm not sure what it means by action and customize like how would you be able to customize your stuff during game was that a feature that was cut out maybe we were like able or they were planning to like allow you to be able to customize your weapons on the go or something uh, it's it's interesting Alrighty guys, so that's all the menu concept stuff we got. Let me know what you guys think, because uh, I think visually they looked pretty pleasing, all of them. But once again, I think I've said this countless times already, I think it is a little too complex. But honestly, I would rather take this stuff over what we have now, or what we had for like Halo 5 now. Because yeah, it just looked a whole lot better. I just wish maybe they kind of like tuned it down a bit, like simplified it, simplified it a bit more just so it doesn't look too complex. Honestly, I'll take anything <laughs> over what we got for Halo 5 because like Halo 5 is just so dull and boring. <laughs> I swear, man. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Of course, you know, consider liking and subscribing as it shows your support and it helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.